vehicle today. with some half fenders since I'm missing my other fender. I know you guys probably seen that, um, that I had an accident. Sadly, but, you know, thank God everybody's all right. It wasn't my fault, just in case people are wondering. So I'm doing a few little changes to it. But, you know, it takes time, it takes money. It takes more time than money, and it takes help. You know, um, my cousin's always busy, so kind of hard to do stuff without him. Fueled up, got a drink. I got two stops left. Going from Hazlitt, Texas to Frisco. Last pickup of the day, dropping this off and picking one up and this should be our last drop. Should be home by about five in the morning. Not so bad. Let's get this out the way. So many trucks sitting here at at Amazon. Earlier during the day, I was watching a few videos on YouTube and looking it up on the internet. And I guess there was a system cra a system crash. I guess somebody ended up hacking hacking their uh, their whole system. And uh, been here since 5:45. I was supposed to pick up at 6:15. It's about to be 11:30. And we're just sitting here waiting to see what happens. Uh, so far, it's, it's about 25 trucks, close to 30. And a good thing that the guy I'm least on with, he he has a contract with with Amazon, so I think we'll still get paid. Usually, when stuff like this happens, we get paid, but I might be wrong. I don't know how about this time. But good luck to all of us here. I know a lot of these guys are from out of town and it, you know, it sucks they have to sit here and wait without even knowing what's going on. Amazon doesn't pay that well in the first place and, you know, we still have to sit here and deal with this mess, but it is where it is. You gotta get off and walk around, man. Other than that, you just get bored of sitting there. This is just a few trucks. There's a lot more on the, on the other side. When I got here earlier, it was about five of us, now it's about 20 something of us. Man, I love the way that my truck looks right here. I need some new stacks, so man. I'm getting new sleepers soon, and some stacks. Um, the sleeper I'm getting off of is one guy that I met. Uh, he does some, some pretty cool work out there in Sulphur Springs. Um, he's actually the owner of the white and, the white and, uh, the white and brown mid roof I showed on the last video he does his own work majority of it yeah so his new the new sleeper I'm gonna get off of him um, has the VIT interior and there's no dance or anything so I feel like it's easier just to get that one painted and throw it in here throw it on here this this sleeper doesn't have the VIT interior so it'll be easier for me there used to be a, a really 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 huge gap where I'm pretty sure like my hand, my, my whole hand will fit. Now I, you know, you kind of, you kind of struggle to fit your, fit your hand through there. And also my mud flap wouldn't really touch the floor. It was a little bit high. So yeah, about five inches higher than that. Cause my truck was sitting pretty, pretty high where it made it look like a damn monster. But I want to show you guys a little setup that I went with. Let me pop the hood. So yeah, these are the shocks I went with. Love them on the road, Magnum. 
Um, I know I really didn't explain anything, but I did what the, what me and my buddy did with the Facebook post. Somebody had posted it. One of my other buddies had actually sent it to me and he did it. And I went ahead and did it also. Um, I, audio, I added all my new fuel lines. Every single little fuel line is brand new. I added it since I changed the, the tanks, might as well. And I want to get these done also, braided. I got this truck with a lot of little issues, but I'm getting them out the way, little by little. I should be getting a an overhaul here like in a month or so. Um, my cousin's gonna do it for me. He's a he's a cat genius, man. It pays to have a genius in the family. But yeah, so while he's doing my while he's doing my my in frame, I'm gonna be driving his uh, green with white W9. He does a different type of work. He does flatbed round bottom uh he started doing something else i really i don't really remember the name of it but uh, i think it's uh i don't know i don't know what it's called i'll post a video of his truck with it with that type of trailer you know but yeah oh uh, it has the blower motor on it this is my truck guys nothing nice nothing big it actually needs a lot of work but this is why i made this channel so you guys can see the steps I'm taking while I'm doing it. Um, I'm getting new doors. These doors are complete garbage. I actually have two pairs of doors. I just need to get a pair painted. If anybody's interested in a 18 rolling sticker, I'll try to put up my email. That way you can get in touch with me and I'll get them mailed out. I made 18 rolling, not just for me, not just for my YouTube channel, but for all of us. I feel like we can all relate. We're all out here rolling in 18 wheels, so just wanted to make something fun for everybody. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. 